So guys, we're going to have a look at the harvester. A bit of a close-up look, see what each of the bits do. Hopefully you understand me. <laughs> to have it clean so okay so these are the, the grappling hooks that bring the rice in I think he's gonna there we go so you see that that drags all the rice in you see the machine there that will bring it up into the into the top It's looking very uh, lethal. <laughs> so I believe these run on diesel. Must sound like it. <laughs> so this is where the guys stand. This actually comes down and they stand on this, but if they're going down the side of a uh, like a, a walkway where the, the side of the field is, they, they lift this up and they, they sort of go down right down the edge so they can get all the rice. And these things here, you'll see these. So they stick a sack on the back here, like that. Oh, the rice come on there. They stick the rice sack on the end here, and they'll keep it closed while they get ready. And then, as you saw when I opened it, the rice drops into the bag. And when it's full, they just slam that shut and it closes off the rice into here. And then they tie up the sack and then they lie it down and they end up sitting on the sacks. So there's two of these beauties here. So I don't know if there's anything in there. It's, there you go, see? So when you do that, the rice comes out. So this is the the arm that comes down that helps the guy just rest on as he's as he's uh, filling the sacks it's very limited space so actually you saw me on the harvester I was actually stood on here and I was stood holding on to onto this handle here and I was hanging on because when this is going this does just just go some speed be able to ask him how fast it can go but you saw it ri riding up it doesn't go a hell of a speed so it's not going to be winning any races i'm sure in thailand they might uh soup them up and, and race them that could be an idea for a video eh? and out the back here is where the, the remnants like this this comes out just basically shoots out here and it's laid in in the tracks that you see in lines and they either scoop it up and use it for the cows or they uh, burn it to help burn the fle field to prepare it for the next for the next season so we've got the caterpillar tracks there i think i've seen a couple of spare ones as well he's got some spare ones over there just over here you see that yeah, he's got spare ones there, or oh, they may be old ones, maybe spare. See if I can find out how much it cost. Hang on, uh, about new TN there. Nam chăm tám lăm chiều. Nam tam. Tám mươi lăm. Tám mươi lăm chiều. Okay. Nam tam. Nam tam. Tám mươi lăm. Tam mươi lăm. Tam lam. Tam lam. Woo! Come go. <laughs> I've just shown him my empty pockets. <laughs> I wonder if I can get to see the, the controls. Yeah, Let's see if we can get the controls. Let's get in the cockpit. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. <coughs> I'm sure that's forward and neutral and reverse. Got handbrake. Oh, speed. It's fast, slow, obviously. And this looks like uh, the front part is going to be turned, so that'll be 
I'm not sure what that bit is. And then you've got different gears here, I think. L, N, H, N, M. Might have to look up online to find out what they are. So there's actually a speedometer, I suppose. Or is it the just the battery level? Ah, and here's the, the, le the lever that uh, lifts up the, the contraption at the front and lowers it. So that's that's pretty much it guys I think and you've got your your, your cover because that's definitely needed especially this season it was absolutely unbelievable Ginger get out of there yeah you know, Ginger's gonna get caught up in it so there we have it guys you've got even got lights as well because they do do this at night as well it's better for them to be doing in the, the cool weather there's another lever there but yeah that's going to be the gas pedal. Yeah, we've got a light there as well, so it's to help them be, deal with the rice. And uh, of course, this comes down and they just throw the bags of rice off when they've they've gone to the side of the, the road. Okay. Come on, Hank. Okay. <laughs> He's just been cleaning it and probably going to take it back to his parking area. I'm not sure where he parks it, to be honest. So. That's the harvester. Interesting machine. Come on, Ank. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you. I hope you enjoyed that video because that was enlightening for me as well. Because I haven't seen it. You know, the little bits inside and out. I've just seen it from walking past. I've not actually studied it like that now. So that was pretty cool. So that's uh, so that's the rice season finished now, guys. Um, the next sort of step. That I wanted to go into is be to jump on some of the other machinery that's going on. I think that's probably more interesting is getting involved in the actual rice growing process itself. So I'm going to try and speak to my sister-in-law, get involved in it more, get out there planting better than last time, uh, planting, dredging, you know, flattening the surface. I think they do use a plow, so it's a bit diff different for, for her. She just pays the money for it. There are guys out there that that drag it out and it's laborious work but if I can get involved in something like that I'll I'll get that included in the videos so yeah this season could be even more interesting than the last so guys if you enjoyed the video please click like subscribe and that notification bell as well so that we we can let you know what videos are coming soon because Vietnam Village Life is growing and I hope you can help it grow okay guys catch you later